Hello my beautiful Sagittarius and welcome to your general reading. Today we're going to be seeing what is coming towards you, family, love, a friend or foe. Please remember the energies in the readings can go vice versa so just take what resonates, switch agendas, switch the roles, do what you've got to do and leave the rest. If you'd like to book a personal reading or for anything else it's all in the description box below okay. Um, so first we're going to start off with your career, your project, your idea, your finances okay. Um, we're going to get a card that represents you, um, your surroundings, the idea and the action that you need to take in order to kind of manifest it, what it is that you want. Then after that, we're just going to get general messages and see what is coming towards you. If there's anything about love or just anything else, okay? So let me know in the comment section if you like the um, edition with the career stuff. Okay, so let's just get the first card which is going to represent your project or your job, okay? So this is for my beautiful Sagittarius. <clears throat> okay so we have teen of create so that is your energy sagittarius because that is equivalent to the um knight of wands okay so gorgeous energy and then we have the ace of things so i feel like for some of you you've got really brilliant ideas and you kind of just want to you just want to go 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 so we are in your season right now so you may be feeling very motivated very very inspired very very creative for some of you actually could be painters or designers of some kind so i'm getting to make sure that you're channeling your creativity whatever idea you get write it down draw it do what you got to do create it make it build it okay i feel like you're feeling motivated you're feeling inspired you're feeling very passionate right now or something that you want to do maybe if you're trying to figure out what job do i want you want something that inspires you and that kind of um something that you can do when you're on the go because you see she's kind of like running with her um paintbrush there so you know with the knight of wands and i of Wands, you know that is your energy you don't like to be in one place it's kind of like that caravan gypsy free spirit flight type of energy so i feel like whatever job you want to do you want it to be something that you can do wherever you are in the world so if you decide that you want to go on a road trip or you want to go stay somewhere for a few months you know that you can take your work with you okay so you kind of want the life of an artist or you want creative freedom so you could be thinking about a really brilliant idea right now of how you're going to kind of like cultivate that okay so let's just see where this is going so the card that represents you this is for my beautiful sagittarius Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. <laughs> the cards are going everywhere. Oh, we have the nine of think. What's going on? So this is you could be dealing with the Gemini. We did have the Gemini full moon. Okay. So I feel like right now, for some of you, you're almost like you're just a bit stressed out. Okay, for some of you, if you're not working right now, you could be stressed out because, um, you know, you have bills to pay, you want to move, you want to live, or if you want to travel the world or whatnot, you need to make sure that you're doing something that can finance that, okay? But I feel like you're stressed about something when it comes to your job or your career. Maybe you're afraid of how something is going to turn out. Maybe you haven't declared something. You're like, oh, I don't know what they're going to say. Because, you know, the Sagittarius energy, they kind of like, they're free-spirited. They don't like to conform to anything. So you could have been trying to get away with something or trying to like, you know, you don't want the government to kind of know what you're doing when it comes to certain things but you know you may be afraid that they're going to find out or you may just be fear of you may be um afraid of your own success you may be afraid that something isn't going to work or your ideas are going to be rejected okay so i don't have any fear but there's obviously a, you know there's some kind of fear aspect here okay so let's look at your environment let's see what your environment is saying oh, okay there's too many cards Oh, good boy. What's going on? Sorry, guys. I hate when that happens. Oh, there's confirmation. I hate when that happens in the set. We just want one card. Okay. Yeah, so we have the Ace of Earth that wanted to come out. So that's your environment. So I'm hearing something about um, stability and your foundation. So again, something about the world. So I feel like you want to do something where you're able to do it wherever you are in the world. But you're maybe you're kind of being realistic for the first time, um, Saj. <laughs> You could just be thinking, you could be really up in your mind right now, or maybe somebody said something to you that's making you think, okay, well, how am I really going to make this happen, okay? Because I'm thinking something about your accommodation or your location is something that could be influencing you right now, okay? Could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo, but does not have to be, okay? Uh, maybe you kind of feel stuck somewhere, or you feel stuck to the system, or you know, do you know what, I have to generate wealth or income from you know a specific source that i don't necessarily agree with in order for me to um get this going okay yeah we have the lovers at the bottom of the deck so heavy gemini energy okay so what action do you need to take this is for my beautiful um 
Sagittarius. What action do you need to take? And then we have the Queen of Feel. Okay, so the Queen of Cups. So you could be doing with a Cancer, but it doesn't have to be, okay? Or any other water sign for that matter. So you see how, you know, the emotions is pouring out of her mind. So I'm getting something about, you know, think positive thoughts and just put love into something that you're doing, okay? And allow your inspiration to kind of flow is what I'm getting, okay? And I'm also getting that you need to put your emotions into something that will fuel your creativity. So if you feel, I mean, I was saying this to somebody the other day when I was like, when you're angry or when you're irritated about something, find a healthy way to um, express that, you know, and then they, they, they are, I mean, I encourage someone to work on their own tarot deck and they've made some really amazing cards and the strongest cards that they have are the ones that they done when they weren't in such a great mood and they decided to channel that into their own creation. So I feel like that's something that you want to do. If you don't know where to put all your energy or your tension, um, allow those emotions to, you know, fuel into something that you are um, creating. And then that's a healthy release, if you will. Okay. I'm also getting as well, you know, to just think with love. I mean, I know that kind of sounds a bit, you know, corny, but I think love and, you know, Venusian energy is kind of like a healthy approach to certain things. Because if you're kind of walking around mad all the time or always angry or aggressive or always looking at the negative aspects of things, it kind of um, blocks your own blessings. But, you know, you're a very optimal sign. You're very, um, you know, um, optimistic and charismatic and just, you know, sometimes you can be a bit happy-go-lucky, but there could be people around you that's trying to take you out of that energy, okay? So just don't allow anybody's fears to kind of impact you and, you know, still focus on what you want to do, but make sure that you're just pouring love and energy into it. Yeah, and then we have the boss of earth at the bottom of the deck, gorgeous. And it says, got this on her top. So basically you got this. This was your surrounding and now you've got it in your hand. So I feel like whatever you want to create is what exactly what you're going to do. So just if you have any fear or any doubt, just try to kind of like transmute that energy in a way, if you're feeling anxious, well, you know, what? I'm going to go paint, I'm going to go draw, I'm going to go sing, I'm going to go create, I'm going to do readings or whatever it is that you do. I'm going to go by the water. Okay. But you basically need to master because this is the queen here. You need to kind of like um, be comfortable with working in a different element because, you know, this isn't your element. This is, you know, water. But I feel like it's about being comfortable with your emotions or trying to temper your emotions. You know, if you think of the temperance, that's your card, Sagittarius. Um, in order for you to be able to do something successfully, I feel like you need to take control of your feelings and how you feel towards other people or how people feel towards you. Like, don't internalize things, okay? And ground yourself a little bit more with the boss of Earth here. So this would be the king of pentacles, okay? So whatever you want to do, you will generate income and money. So if you're stressing about anything, just know things are going to go in your favor, okay? So beautiful energy, Sagittarius. So that was your job or your career or um, projects that you have in mind. So let's just look at general messages. So this is for my beautiful Sagittarius. Okay, so we have privilege that wanted to come out, which reads special treatment, gorgeous energy. And then we have selfie at the bottom of the deck, which reads someone is stalking your social media, okay? So for some of you, you may be getting special treatment because of how you look. So I feel like someone likes the way that you look, they like the way that you shape, their, they like your style or something like that. For some of you, this could be um, where you're from as well. This could be something to do with your culture or something like that. This could be your status. But I'm getting that you're going to be, um, you're going to be feeling like VIP when you go to certain places, okay? But this could be because you're on the spotlight. Maybe for some of you, if you are, I feel like people are going to be recognizing you. And because of that, they're going to be accommodating to you because, you know, you know, the more popular you are, the more free stuff you get, the more people want to, you know, do nice things for you because you're some kind of icon. So for some of you, you could be an icon to somebody. Okay, it doesn't actually have to be like online. This could be somebody in your community that just really reveres and respects you. OK, but this could be simply because you're very handsome or you're very pretty. Someone wants to do something for you. OK, um, I don't know why I picked up that deck. That's the wrong deck. So let's just see where this is going. Oh, I forgot to use this in your career reading, but never mind. We'll add it in this. This is for my beautiful Sag. 
Oh, in your bag. Ching, ching, walla, walla, bing, bing, y'all. Look at the money. And they say money doesn't come from trees, yet we need trees in order to create it. <laughs> Idiots. But yeah, so we have in your bag, and then we have flow at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, easy breezy, lemon squeezy. I'm hearing let things flow to you. Something about currency as well. And again, being um, tempered within your emotions, okay? So like I said, I feel like some of you are either coming into a lot of money, or, you know, you have some inheritance or something or you come from a very wealthy family or you could be wealthy within like wealth um rich within knowledge sorry is what i wanted to say but i'm also getting like continue to cultivate any kind of creative idea because i feel like you're going to make a lot of money when doing something and this is going to be your life you're going to feel very privileged like you can just relax because yeah we was getting that in your other reading where it's almost like you want to do something where where you can travel and still be making money so you want to kind of have like a mobile job, you know, where you can just move around. I feel like for some of you, a career opportunity is coming or a windfall of abundance. Okay, so that's really exciting. So let's just see. Let's just see where this is going. So it might be a full Sagittarius. What do we have? Optimism. Your energy, Sagittarius. Beautiful. It says, if you're going to make up stories in your head about people and circumstances, please make them love stories with happy endings. Exactly. So that could have been what that Queen of Cups card was saying. So do you know what I mean? Like, as whatever you picture in your mind, if you can visualize it, you can create it. You are the sign of luck and expansion. So you will expand in whatever way you want to, okay? Just continue to be optimistic. But if the optimism card is coming out, then that to me indicates that there's going to be somebody that's going to try and knock you off of your path or make you um, kind of um, not believe in what it is that you want to do. Somebody may try to be, make you feel like what you're doing isn't realistic, Okay. So I'm getting that balance is required, but just don't allow anyone to kind of deter you from your original plan when it comes to something, okay? We have needs at the bottom of the deck. And interestingly enough, this is very close to this card. They're both floating in the water. So I'm getting something about traveling, okay? Some of you could be booking a vacation or that's something that you want to do. Or yeah, you want to be on the move. You want to be on the road. You see how that card is right here? It says move. So I'm getting that you want to do something where you don't have to stay in one place all the time you kind of just want an easy breezy life but you still want to be comfortable you want your needs to be met it says um do you need more time to yourself a break from thinking too much a kind encounter with a friend your needs matter and it's time to honor them yeah so maybe for some of you you want a break from people from society because you know before in your reading we did see the nine of things so it was like you were overthinking so you need a break from that okay so some of you that may be all it requires that you need to just go on holiday or you need to be in a in new scenery in a different environment and that's really going to help you in some type of way okay sorry guys that my virgo energy kicks in but let's just see where this is going oh, bless me sorry guys so a blessing could be coming to you so please clarify privilege So we have the hanged woman that wanted to come out and there's that tree, okay? So I feel like you're going to become enlightened when it comes to something. Or your enlightenment is what is going to um, put you in like privileged situations, okay? You could be battling with yourself or battling with somebody else or people are not in agreement with what it is that you're doing, what it is that you want to do, but just never mind about all of that, okay? Please clarify in your bag. Okay, yeah, keep grinding and keep climbing, okay? With the six of swords, you see how she's climbing up that mountain? okay some of you could be trying to find like a peaceful location so i'm getting go near a tree or if you see like a big tree a big oak tree or a willow tree or some specific tree that really draws your attention there's a message maybe you actually need to go up to the tree and actually touch it stand by the tree receive the knowledge from the um the universe from the ancestors you know our ancestors live through the trees because when we're buried we go back into the ground we go back into earth so for some of you, you may actually need to connect with na nature. And, you know, you do all the ancestors. You are close to the ancestors, um, Sagittarius. That is your energy, your higher self, higher knowledge. Okay, we have the magician here. And remember, we have the teen of create. So there's definitely something to do with your creativity here, your ideas. Okay, please clarify optimism. 
Yeah, and then we have the King of Wands, okay? So your energy, okay? So keep going, period, point blank. And interestingly enough, in this card, there's like two ones behind him. But he doesn't even have one in his hand. He's got his hand on his waist there and he's like putting his hand out like to say, listen, here you, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm striving towards. And it is what the fuck it is, okay? Yeah, and then we have the three of ones here. So again, like traveling, but in this card, she's looking, she's not even looking towards her future. She's kind of got her back towards it and she's looking in a different direction. So maybe where you thought you were going isn't actually where you're going to end up. Or you like to travel. You could be wanting to deal with someone at a distance or just wanting to go the distance. But I feel like, you know, you want to be able to be flexible, you know. That is your energy. Okay? You want to be able to be mutable. I also feel like somebody has got their eye on you, okay, that may want to invest in you in some type of way. But I do feel like you're going to be very, feel very privileged because there's going to be something that happens in your life. So if there's any if there's any worry about money or anything like don't worry about that you can still travel you can still keep moving okay and make money or something is going to lead you to an idea okay which is going to help you to bring something into form so let's get an additional message yeah we have the heroin gorgeous energy so you're very powerful right now okay or it's almost like you're a savior or someone or like some kind of icon or someone is going to save you okay yeah and then we have gossip at the bottom of the deck so just expect people to be talking i feel like you're going to be talk of the town especially if you're like doing something that a lot of people are going to see or find with the social media card here but i feel like your optimism your passion and your motivation is what's going to fuel you okay also something is coming in the package something is coming in the patches a package is coming to you okay that's what i meant to say your needs will be met i don't feel like you have to worry or stress about anything especially in your season sagittarius okay and happy birthday okay but thank you so much i hope you guys um enjoyed the reading if you did let me know in the comments like subscribe share the channel and you know book a reading or purchase something you know thank you so much goodbye